I am so disappointed in you. Lying to a poor little old lady. Yeah, I know. I do feel a bit ashamed. Dirty, even. How dirty? Dirty. Like, really dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a move on before your grand gets back. Get in there. I'll lock up. Hi. All right. Uh, Audrey about? Uh, no, she's not. Oh, only I want to book an appointment for the kids. Ah, oh, no, it's not a good time. Sorry. What, are we going to get it on or not? Dave? Dev? Seems to have mislaid your shirt, man. Yeah, I was just a bit hot. So I'll get it. The deed is done, David. All of them? I didn't think, and... I was just saying, sometimes we're just blinkered by our own goodness. Did you actually just really say that? Kylie, it's me. Listen, something terrible has happened. It's me mum. She's dead. She got mugged in town. I had to go identify the body and... Oh, she looked awful. Horrific. I actually just threw up looking at her. So if you could help me, please. And that is how you get somebody to come home. I hope by now Gail's acquainted you with our little scheme to cut you adrift and start a new life in Italy. I like to say she took a lot of persuading to abandon her family. Alas, no. As with my seduction, she didn't need asking twice. That's not true. Shh. You made it easy, Gail, far easier than I dared hope. But did you seriously think I could ever love you? And what after what you did to Audrey and myself? You destroyed my best hope of happiness. So let me return the compliment. There is no new life in Italy, no job in Tuscany, and no money left in your bank account. Because by the time you watch this, I'll have taken it as compensation for what you stole from me. Which brings me to you, Audrey. You did what no other woman ever could. You made me... You made me happy and content. I truly was a changed man until Gail meddled and forced me to revert to type. We could have been so happy, Audrey. But I'm afraid this is our last goodbye. And that really, truly breaks my heart. I'm sorry for any pain this may cause you, and I mean you no harm. To Emma, my darling. <sighs> Kylie! I like you very much. You've got, I don't know, you've got something about you and you could do a good deal better than that weasel of a husband. And you deserve happiness too, Nick. I hope you both manage to find it one day. Hey, look at that. The perfect cocktail. It just requires a toast. And this one's especially for you, Gail. Cicento ne fa una ne aspetti. Or as we say in this country, what goes around comes around. Mm. Exquisite. Ciao. Still no word from Michael. No. His heart must have given out. Be lying on a roadside somewhere, surrounded by loose women. David. Hello. Blimey, O'Reilly, are you drunk? Someone in the bar told me the other pubs I used to work in. And I had to have a rum and coke in every one just to be polite. How many pubs did he work in? Um, three. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Oh. Have I ever told you that I love you? I'll make you some coffee. Three rum and cokes, he's already telling you that he loves you. You know, she thought you were a goner, being led astray by Piccadilly's finest. David. Never had you down as a drunk, though, Mikey boy. No, I'm not. Not at all. 
Don't believe a word of it, Gail. Did you find anything out? I got a lead. One lead. Who wants putting on a lead? This one time up outside. <laughs> <laughs> there was a barman who said that he thought that the assistant manageress knew him. She's on holiday till next week, but she might have an address for me. Oh, at least that's positive. Mm. Why don't you have a, a lie down? Mum, I'm sitting here. Shift yourself. Oh. oh, it's better. Three rum and cokes. <sighs> what should we do with a drunken burglar? What should we do with a drunken burglar? David, grow up, will you? Let me grow up. Have you seen him? A lie in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> So on your wedding day, you're doing the housework while these two just tart themselves up? I wish my mum was here. She always knows how to make me feel better. Well, I'll be grand for you today, if you like, shall I? Right then, girl, love it. Listen, now, it's your special day, so I don't want you worrying about anything else except you, OK? Bethany, sweetheart, come on. I think you're done, actually. No, I'm not. Yes, you have. Come on. <laughs> That's child abuse, that is. Not yet, it isn't. Girl, sit down, honestly. I'm next. Well, there's a change of plans, Sarah, all right? And that you two can do the washing. Most of it's yours and Bethany's. Anyway, Gail, I won't tell you again. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go with my hair looking like this. Well, you'll have to put a beanie on, won't you? Because it's the bride's special day, not yours. Maria, mm. it's her turn. All right, you're the boss. I came to see if I could lend a hand. Looks like you've got everything under control. <laughs> um, Sarah, could you open this? Oh, I've just done my nails. How's Michael? Um... He's nervous, you know, but Gavin's with him. Well, this takes me back. You don't get smacked, Tatty! All right, I think you've proved your point, yeah? But what? She's a raving psychopath. See you again, oh, No, you're all right, you're all right. Smash on, love. Yeah. Have a not. Don't want one, thank you. Certainly don't want you throwing at me. Try again. Catch. Can you stop it, please? I'm your landlord, you know. I can check you out any time I want. Yes, you have mentioned that before, so do you want to? Well, let's say you've got to catch the next three nuts, yeah? And if you don't, you're out. You know, I think you're regressing. I think you're becoming a child again. Yeah, you might be right. You ready? No. One. Stop it. Two. You know, I sometimes think rather than you throwing me out, I'd be doing us both a favour if I left this house anyway. Left you to make your own meals, do your own washing up. Three. Do your own washing and ironing, then maybe you'd realise just how much I do for you. Right, OK. Now you've got one more chance, right? You've still got to catch three nuts, but this time in your mouth. I have tried and tried to help you put up with your bad behaviour, which, at times, I have to say, has bordered on the deranged. <laughs> Mum, I don't think you're trying. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay sane when sometimes I think I'm the only one who is. David! Do you know what? Maybe we do have something in common. <sighs> really? Yeah. Because I sometimes feel like that. That everybody's against me. Especially people in this family. Especially you, Stop mother. It! You know, you're supposed to look back on your child and it's supposed to be happy, innit? Everybody's supposed to be getting on. Well, mine wasn't like that, though, was it? David! Why? Because we didn't get on, did we? David! Tell me why. Why, why wasn't he like that? What is going on? Tell me why. 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 And what are you looking at? How dare you barge into my mother's house? You barged into mine. No, I didn't. Uh, it's my house, actually. I thought all this was put to bed. Uh, David told me that I shouldn't worry you. Yeah. Oh, don't blame it all on me. So you knew this is still going on? You threw a bag into the road. Who are these people? Look, it was an accident. She was picking on Bethany. She has made my daughter's life a misery, and you know it. So so what if her uncle sticks up for her? My bottle of shampoo went everywhere. And I had witnesses. How much is shampoo? It's an expensive one, but it's not the shampoo I'm bothered about. It was an assault. Nick, is this true? Right, look, here's ten. Well, hang on, what are you giving her money for when she's traumatised Bethany for weeks? OK, look, um, I might have gone a bit too far, but uh, Bethany was upset. And she called the baby ugly. <gasps> 
She said what? Well, I'm not surprised it's ugly, judging by the state of you lot. Oi! Why didn't either of you say anything? I didn't want to worry her. She's been awake for 37 hours. Can you see what you've done? Look, this is all her fault. Bethany's been too scared to go to school. All right, come on, get out of my house. And take your scabby daughter with you. Oh, we're going, don't worry. But this isn't the end of it. Come on, Lauren, let's get out of here. It's like the Flaming Adams family. I keep expecting a hand to scuttle across the floor. Oh, you cheeky man. Come on, out. Move it. Oh. And don't come back. You'll pay for this. And I don't just mean the shampoo. Swimming. All the red red. You turn into right, old fog. Well, that's because now I'm meant to be the entertainer rather than the one who was getting entertained. Not that Gail was ever entertaining. Not intentionally, anyway. <laughs> Poor Gail. And Max, is, he's always dropping hints about that climbing centre thing. Oh, yeah, but it's probably that expensive, though. So. That's why I'm taking you, Mrs Moneybags. I'm sorry, I'm skint till payday. And what about all your winnings? We spent it on a designer handbag or something. I just don't see it as spending money, that's all. Well, what else are you planning on doing with it then? Anyway, I haven't got a head for heights. <clears throat> I had a bad experience once um, on a big dipper after a gallon of pop and a chocolate egg. Yeah, <laughs> so why don't we just hang out here and sit in the garden with the kids? Sounds very domesticated. It is. Where's he come from? I think we know where he came from, don't we? My poor terrorised chickens have quite literally been in a flap. Oh. Sorry about that. Bad dog. There is no such thing as a bad dog. There are only bad owners. I bid you good day. <laughs> Silly old man. <laughs> no! Oh, oh yes, yes. yes. Go on, then. Well, oh, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah? Mom? Yeah? Yeah! Yay! Oh. Brilliant! <laughs> if I might interrupt. How's he got there? I suspect he flew. How do you think he got there? He burrowed his way under the fence where he proceeded to annihilate my border of beautiful hydrangeas. Sorry. Yeah, we uh, thought he was in the house. Bad dog. Not so fast. Look, if you want me to pay for him, I'm not. What I want is for you to take your responsibilities seriously, which clearly you do not. Where are you going? I'm confiscating your dog. Uh, well, you can't do that. Not another word. You reckon I should tell her that he's not too fussy where he cocks his leg in the middle of the night? <laughs> I remember having sleepovers when I was a kid. Well, unless you count having to kick on the neighbour's couch when my mum <clears throat> locked me out when she was out on the Raz. Well, I used to love little sleepovers at my grand's actually. She had this uh, electric blanket. I used to love it. <laughs> hey up. Someone's in a pickle. Please. Do your business. Dogs are like children. They need routine and discipline. Yeah, speaking of routine, he likes to go out and do a you-know-what roughly about midnight time. Yeah, and uh, he also likes some stuff to sleep on. <laughs> you seriously going to do this? Just relax, will you? I've got it in the bag. And you, remember who feeds you, yeah? And who gives you little pedicures every night? Well, not every night, because that would be weird, wouldn't Look, it? Look, are we going to do this or not? Yeah, 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 just keep your fur on. Right, come on, eyes on the fire, eyes on the fire. Right. On your marks. <clears throat> Get set. Go. Come on, sweetheart. Come to mummy. I'll cook you some of your favourite lamb and rice surprises. Ignore all that, David. David, look at me. Nice to me. All right, in there. There's six chicken nuggets with your name on it, all right? All you've got to do is let your little paws do the talking, all right? Over here. David. Oi! Are you even listening to me? You see, there you go, shouting at him again. No wonder he doesn't want to go with you. It's not exactly going with you, is it? Look, this is stupid. You're just confusing him. Who are you? Dog whisperer. Well, why don't you just share him? Share him? Yeah, like joint custody. You know, you have him at weekends, you have him in the weekday. Well, I suppose it could work. Yeah? No chance. Come here. 
What are you doing? David's my dog, all right? I'm not sharing with anyone. It was your idea to make him choose in the first place. Well, I've changed my mind. If you don't like it, sue me. Since when do you like lemon rice? expects total loyalty from his dog. It's page one of the canine code of conduct. But I shall shoulder some of the blame because I feel like I should have shown you a bit more attention. So for that, I apologize. Now, are we cool? yourself out and if you're a good boy maybe I can rustle up some of Yasmin's lamb and rice thing that you like hmm? I'll have to nick the recipe isn't it best if I come with you no no no, 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 no what's going on I hate you I hate both of you Max get upstairs now you have no right bringing me back here right somebody just tell me what's going on they've locked me in here like a prisoner Family tradition here, isn't there? I found her drinking a bottle of vodka during the day. She was that drunk, she passed out. She's not going anywhere. Well, when she puts it like that. David! Sorry, kid, I'm staying out of this one. Let me out! No, no, no! Oh, my God, what are you doing? Stop it! 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 Stop you're like the princess and the pea. You're too delicate for your own good. Is that why it's taken you a whole week to pluck up the courage? Well, just say it. I want a divorce. What? You've barely said two words to me. I've just put two and two together. And made five. Divorce is the last thing on my mind. Do you want me to kiss it better? It's sweet. <laughs> Shall I kiss it better? Oh. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> National Laugh at Michael Day, is it? Yeah, very funny. My sides are splitting. Is it Nathan? Has he put you up to this? Why are you blaming him? It's my decision what I do. Uh, when you're 18, maybe. Until then. Why are you trying to micromanage every single part of my life? Anybody want any fish cakes? Right, you have your exam soon. Why bother going back to school if you're going to chuck it away like this? There are more important things to life than exams. You weren't exactly university material at my age, oh. were you? Oh, don't you get smart, Mrs. I'm not getting smart. And he never will, where you're carrying on. Oh, shut up, David! Well, you don't talk to him like that! Everybody else does. You're not helping! I'm making tea for everyone a lot more than anyone else is doing. Oh, I'm going to see Nathan. No, no, you're not. Get off! That is assault! Call a cop! Is that a yes for fish cakes, or...? Right, if you want a Saturday job, you can go and work with David in the salon. Hold on! Is, is this a punishment for me, order? It's not a punishment, at least if she's there. We know what she's doing. Will you stop trying to control every 